Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial series. We are studying Python data structure dictionary and in today's video we will see pop item method of dictionary object. It returns a key value pair as a tuple. It removes the latest inserted key value pair. Let's start. Here you have D7 containing 5 elements. If you want to see the information regarding pop item method then D7 dot pop item question mark you can see that it returns a pair removes and returns some key value pair as a two tuple but raises a key error if d is empty it is a built-in function or method let's cross check this we run d7 dot pop item method it will return a key value pair we store it in variable where is equal to d7 dot pop item and it doesn't take any parameter so click on the cell run the cell we print the value of where you can see it returns a key value pair which was last inserted now we check the status of d7 now the last inserted value is key for python we store this value we remove this value using pop, pop item method where d7 dot pop item we print the value of where where to you can see key for python we check the status of d7 again now now it has 2 3 10 suppose we add one value to this dictionary d7 d7 a uh, new value will act as a key and inside it we insert a string python programming this is the list latest inserted value into the dictionary if we check the content of d7 the last inserted value is new value and python programming we use pop item method and this pop item will, will return the latest inserted value so d7 dot pop item and call run the function if we check the content of var3 it is by new value and colon python programming you can see so it works in last in first out manner the value which is late latest inserted will be removed by the pop item method we check when the dictionary is empty suppose we again run d7 dot pop item method and we check the status of d7 In this case what was happening it was returning a tuple key value pair and it was directly printed. Again we run the pop item method. Again we check the status of d7. Again we run the pop item method. Again we check the status of d7. Now the dictionary is empty. If we run the pop item method it will return an error key error additional is empty that's it for today's video thank you thanks for watching do hit that subscribe button for more such technical content see you in the next video